Good day to you. It's Monday, November the 1st. This is uh, All uh, Saints Day. It's the day where the church remembers those who've been so faithful and who have uh, rendered their, their witness and have gone on to be with the Lord and uh, have ended their earthly life. In Matthew 24, verse 35, Jesus is teaching his disciples, and he says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word will never pass away. And, you know, you get to think about heaven and earth. Earth will pass away. We understand that. But heaven? Uh, well, we thought heaven was a permanent fixture that was uh, God would never allow to destroy. Jesus was trying to teach his followers at this point with his teaching when he said, Heaven and earth can pass away. And will pass away if God, my heavenly Father, decides to make them pass away. He says, but my word will never pass away because it's the, not his word. It's the word that his heavenly Father gave to him. And the word that, that Yahweh, God the Father, gave to Jesus is the word of truthfulness, honesty, and integrity that will never be destroyed. It is the gospel message that God loves us. It is the gospel message that he wishes to redeem us. It is the gospel truism that is reality that he sent his son to save us. So when you see words like heaven and earth will pass away, no, Jesus was trying to capture the imagination of permanence with his followers about the importance of his teaching because he was not representing himself. He was representing the Father, which is eternal and forever. Now, who created the heavens and the earth? God the Father. It says, in the beginning, God, crea God Yahweh, created the heavens and the earth. He said, let there be light, and there was light. If God has created something, he can undo it. He has the power to create, and also our Heavenly Father has the power to take away our God is a God of construction, not destruction. But if he so chooses, he can end it. Remember that. That's what makes him so holy and so wonderful. As you and I walk through this Monday together, as we think about the goodness of God's love and the, the testimony of those that have loved us, who've shared their faith, and we're the result of someone sharing God's love with us, let's be thankful for the permanence that the Word of God his word will never pass away. And it lives within us, and we're entrusted with it to pass it to the next generation. Pray with me. Father, thank you for the day you've given us and for the authenticity of your presence. Help us in this moment to share this with other people. All Souls, All Saints Day today is, is a commemoration of your permanence and of your love and of your gospel message. Thank you for those who've touched us and redeemed us through their message and their, their, their sharing the gospel message of your word as a commissioning of what they've received from another generation. And now we have the responsibility to pass it on. Father, be with us. Help us to realize that if heaven and earth can pass away, but we will never pass away because we're part of the Ruah, the Spirit of God. Amen. Have a great day today on Monday. This is getting to you a little bit late. I'm sorry for that. But I want you to know it's coming to you. And uh, may the Lord bless you. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. But today on Monday, make this a wonderful day for Jesus Christ in your life. Amen.